Today we are gonna be film camera thirsty. So today we have a very interesting episode. First things first, it's raining after a really sunny week, which is kind of throwing me off because man, I was really enjoying the sun. But secondly, I dropped my freaking Sony camera the other day and uh, I'm waiting for a mic mount to come because it cracked the entire mic. Uh, luckily the camera is fine. The mic broke the fall. So instead of filming with that camera, I have to film the entire episode today with my phone until a new mic mount comes in. But with that said, you guys, man, welcome back to yet another King James episode. And today we are gonna be film camera thrifting. Uh, we're gonna be hitting as many spots as possible before the day is up. And hopefully this is a change from last week's thrifting episode where we found absolutely nothing. That is the goal, you guys. And it's just gonna be a little bit interesting because this episode is purely going to be shot with my iPhone. But with that said, I wanna kind of make this a little message and challenge to show that you can still get away with using your iPhone for anything on YouTube. So with that said, you guys, let's shoot some B-roll, let's film this episode, and let's go thrifting. Let's go. Ooh. All right, so we are at the very first spot right now. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't really found anything in this thrift store, and there's probably not gonna be anything in here anyways, but it's always good to just pop your head in because consistency wins over luck. All right, so they have like a little point and shoot over there, but it's a little crowded. So I'm gonna head over to this little corner spot, see what they got over here. And today it looks like, oh wow, no way. There is something there that I see that I need to buy. Holy smokes. Dude, okay, if this is in good condition, it is a definite cop. Excuse me now. Can I see that black camera under the binocular? Yes, that one, thank you. It is, guys. Holy crap. It's stuck on the register. Check this out, guys. $9.98. Nikon L35 AF. You cannot be kidding me. And it's in freaking immaculate condition. Uh, there's no battery in it right now. Let's check the battery department. And that looks really clean, you guys. This is insane. I need to get this right now deal of the freaking year so far holy smokes holy crap you guys no way we have to get this right here i'll check this out we got a yashika right here for 29.92 and it is a yashika electra electro 35 yeah for the most part but i don't know if you guys can see that on the top there there is a nice little crack going on that does not look very promising, unfortunately. I'm still amazed, guys. $9.98, absolutely insane deal. And check this out, they sell batteries here, so I'm gonna pick one of these up so that we can test the camera out in the car. I have a, um, a camera from the back right here. $1.99, $1.99. Sorry, Leah, yeah. That's all right, thank you. Check it out, guys, $13.25 is our grand total. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, moment of truth. So again, here is the camera right here, the Nikon L35 AF. It actually looks to be in really good condition. Um, it is the first version, so it has L35 AF written up top and it's that thicker body right there. On off switch at the top, lens looks nice. Uh, the question is if it works or not. So let's test it out, man. Moment of truth, I don't know. All right, moment of truth. Batteries are installed. Camera should be on. <laughs> no freaking way. Okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> this is crazy. Look at that thing, man. Listen again. Okay, so recognize that it needs some flash. Everything on this camera is working. $9.98 on 
are you kidding me? My club opened at 5 a.m. This is exactly what I'm talking about, you guys. Insane start to the day, but we are not done yet. We're gonna keep on going. So I'm gonna store this thing away. Probably one of the best finds of the year so far. Uh, we're gonna get it home, clean it up. But folks, we still have a couple of more thrift stores I wanna check out in this area. Let's continue on the search, you guys, and let's get thrifting. <laughs> Right, guys so we are at the next thrift stop uh we have found absolutely nothing at the last one so we, we just ended it short there but hopefully you guys this next one here has something honestly again like i said with the time i am not 100 confident sometimes they put film cameras in like the most random places um, so every time i'm here i always try to just check and make sure to go through like you know here's a vr headset and then you got some oh okay hold on hold on Guys, I'm not gonna, oh my goodness. <laughs> Yo, okay. Olympus case? What do you guys think it is? Two, one, bam. Ooh, check that thing out, man. The Olympus stylus. It's not the MJU one, but it is the zoom variant, which is okay. These cameras are still amazing in quality. A lot of people overlook the zoom variants. Eight bucks, you cannot pass that up check that out you guys olympus stylus zoom from thrifts eight bucks that is an amazing find. i wish it was the mju one but i'm not complaining Woo! all right all right all right settle down class settle down all right so we're back from the thrifts today folks and as you guys seen we have found two different cameras and honestly it wasn't the most successful thrift day like we didn't find a ton of items at every single store we literally found one on the first and the last store but for those of you guys who are wondering i am still recording here on the iphone so i'm not even sure how this is gonna go this is my first time uh trying this out and so hopefully it's going well with the exception of i'm using an external audio recorder to record my voice just so it's more audible for you guys to listen to then of course i also have kind of like my studio set up here. So this is what it looks like when the iPhone is on a tripod. But you guys, let's jump into our two crazy finds. I am beyond excited with each of these cameras. All right, so at the first thrift store, you guys actually seen me already unbox it in the parking lot, but folks, we paid a grand total of $13 and that was $10 for the camera and I also bought some batteries that they had laying around But you guys check this out. We found the Nikon L35 AF as you guys know one of my favorite cameras of all time is probably one of the best point and shoots you could get for the money and it has that really sharp 35 millimeter 2.8 lens It has a built-in flash as well on the top there You have your on off switch a frame counter and this one in particular takes double a battery so this is the reason why I really prefer this model over some of the other ones. But you guys, we paid $10 for this camera, and if you guys check online, the prices for these cameras range anywhere between $100 to around $250, depending on the condition. So to pick this up for 10 bucks was a complete steal. The Nikon L35 AF, I know I've mentioned this already, but it is my favorite 35 millimeter point and shoot. And it wasn't until the very last thrift store that we went to that we found the next camera, folks. Now the grand total that I paid for this entire setup here was $10.25. And so it was $7.99 for the camera and then $1.50 for this item right here. And then we have the camera. So. Looking through, I was not expecting this because I never usually find anything at this thrift store, but that's a good sign that you should always try to check absolutely everywhere in the thrift stores. And I saw the case and it said Olympus and I kind of flipped out. This is the Olympus MJU Zoom. Now, of course, 
I don't have a battery for it. It takes that CR-123A. But anyways, you guys, I used to own one of these back when I first started shooting film and I made some of my most favorite images with it. Uh, I took it a lot to some parties as well as just outings with friends and family and using the on-camera flash, it really gives you that nice sentimental, I would say nostalgic film look. So if you pair this camera up with some like Kodak Gold, uh, it has a 35 to 70 millimeter zoom lens. You can get some really, really nice images just out of this little beast right here. I think they're highly underrated and because they don't have that fixed prime lens, it doesn't go for the price that you would think it would. Uh, these are on the more affordable side, I would say for a film point and shoot. So I would highly recommend this one right here. And if you guys get the chance to folks, definitely pick one up because they are of great, great value. But you know, that clamshell design makes it super special. You get a very similar feel to the Stylus Epic just at a cheaper price point. And you still have that fixed 35 millimeter lens if you want to use it. But that's going to wrap up this episode, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it might've been a little bit weird because I have filmed everything on my phone, but I hope it shows that you can also still get away with using your phone for YouTube videos. It's a very capable camera and any camera past the iPhone, I think 10, honestly, was really, really good and more than good enough for YouTube. And I'm just extremely grateful that we were able to be in the right place at the right time. So definitely hit your thrift stores here up in the near future. Try to hit as many as you can and hopefully you guys get lucky as well. Let me know in the comment section down below some of the finds that you have had lately and I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. As always, Minolta Gang.